हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑन ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक एंगल्स दैट इज अ जीरो डिग्री थर्टी डिग्री फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड नाइन्टी डिग्री ओके सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इवेल्युएट द फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन सो आई एम टेकिंग वन वन फर्स्ट वन इज टू साइन स्क्वेर थर्टी into tan 60 minus 3 cos square 60 into sec square 30 degree okay so we have to put only values here so here 2 sin square 30 so sin square 30 means sin 30 we can write like this way sin 30 degree bracket square into tan 60 degree minus 3 again cos square 60 degree cos 60 bracket square again sec 30 bracket square okay now we have to put only values so 2 into sin 30 value is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 square into tan 60 is root 3 minus 3 into cos 60 so cos 60 that is a 1 by 2 square and into sec 30 sec 30 we can find value cos 30 value first find cos 30 is a root 3 by 2 and sec 30 means reciprocal of cos so that is a 2 upon root 3 bracket square okay now we have to simplify this so 2 into here multiplication sign is there okay now 2 into 1 by 2 square that is a 1 by 4 multiply by root 3 minus 3 into 1 by 2 square 1 by 4 into here 2 square is 4 divided by root 3 square is 3 okay so here 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 okay so root 3 by 2 minus this 3 will get cancel here 4 will get cancel so one remains so answer is root 3 by 2 minus 1 or if we simplify this root 3 minus 2 if you make same denominator divided by 2 so this is the value of this expression okay now we will take second expression Okay. Here I have written two expressions. First one is cos square 30 degree into sin square 45 degree minus sec square 60 degree. Okay, so first we will solve this one. So again cos cos square 30 degree. This we can write cos 30. It's square sin 45 sin square 45 again same sin 45 degree bracket square minus sec 60 degree. Bracket square. Okay. Now cosec 30 value is sin 30 value is 1 by 2. So cosec 30 is reciprocal of sin that is a 2. So 2 square sin 45 1 by root 2 bracket square minus sec 60. So sec 60 that is a sec is a reciprocal of cos. Cos 60 value is a 1 by 2. So sec 60 is a 2. Okay, now here two square is a four into one by root two square is a one by two minus two square is again four. So two two is a four. So two minus four minus two. So expression uh, value of this expression is a minus two. Okay, now we will solve third expression that is a tan sixty degree into cos sec square forty five degree. Plus sec square 60 degree into tan 45. Okay, so tan 60 value is root 3. Cos square 45. So cos is a reciprocal of sine. Sine 45 is 1 by root 2. Cos 45 is a root 2 square. Plus sec square 60 degree. Sec 60 value here all already we wrote sec 60 value is 2. So 2 square into tan 45. Tan 45 is 1. So root three, root two square is a two plus two square is a four into one that is a four. So this value is a two root three plus 
4 okay we cannot uh, further simplify or one more step we can simplify this take 2 common so here remain root 3 plus 2 okay that is the final answer so this is third expression now we will take next example okay second example is prove that cos 30 degree plus sin 60 degree upon 1 plus cos 60 degree plus sin 30 degree is equal to root 3 by 2 okay now we will take lhs and we have to put values of this trigonometric ratios okay so here i am writing first lhs is equal to cos 30 degree plus sin 60 degree upon 1 plus cos 60 degree plus sin 30 degree okay now here put values cos 30 that is a root 3 by 2 plus sin 60 this is again root 3 by 2 divided by 1 plus cos 60 that is a 1 by 2 plus sin 30 is a 1 by 2 okay now here denominator is same so root 3 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 that is a 2 root 3 upon 2 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is a 1 and this 1 plus this 1 that is a 2 okay so this will get cancelled so what is it remain root 3 by 2 that is equal to RHS okay so we start from LHS and we will get here RHS okay now we will take third example third example is find the value of theta in each of the following okay so here we have to find the value of theta so first one is 2 sin 2 theta 2 theta means here 2 is multiplied to this theta okay so suppose theta is 30 degree so 2 theta means 2 into 30 that is a 60 degree okay so here this 2 is multiplied to theta so 2 sin 2 theta is equal to root 3 okay so we have to find the value of theta so first we have to shift this to here so sin 2 theta is equal to root 3 by 2 okay this is first step then second step now we know that value of root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 when we will get for which angle sin value is a root 3 by 2 so that is a 60 degree because sin 60 degree is a root 3 by 2 so instead of this root 3 by 2 we have to put here sin 60 degree so sin 2 theta is equal to sin 60 degree okay so if sin 2 theta is equal to sin 60 degree means value of 2 theta is equal to 60 degree okay don't cancel this sin theta sin sin okay because this sin is not multiplied to 2 theta that is a function apply to theta okay so don't cancel this okay so write like this way if sine 2 theta is equal to sine 60 degree then 2 theta is equal to 60 degree okay now we have to find theta so if 2 theta is 60 degree is equal to 60 degree theta is equal to 60 by 2 that is a theta is equal to 30 degree okay similarly we have to solve other two okay now here 2 cos 3 theta is equal to 1 so cos 3 theta is equal to this 2 shift here so that is a 1 by 2 now cos 3 theta is equal to 1 by 2 so now we know that for which value of theta cos of that theta is equal to 1 by 2 so which angle is there that is a 60 degree okay so cos 60 degree that is equal to 1 by 2 so instead of this 1 by 2 we have to put cos 60 degree now cos 3 theta is equal to cos 60 degree means 3 theta is equal to 60 degree that is theta is equal to 60 by 2 oh, sorry 60 by 3 that is a 20 degree so here in second one theta is equal to 20 degree okay similarly third one now here first minus 3 shift here so we will get 
रूट थ्री टेन टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री हाउ शिफ्ट दिस रूट थ्री हियर सो टेन टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू थ्री अपॉन रूट थ्री ओके सो टेन टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू दिस थ्री वी कैन राइट रूट थ्री इन टू रूट थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय रूट थ्री सो वन रूट थ्री विल गेट कैंसल ना वॉट इज रिमेन टेन टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री ना वी नो दैट वैल्यू ऑफ टेन सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट इज रूट थ्री सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस रूट थ्री वी हैव टू पुट टेन सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस टेन टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन सिक्सटी डिग्री मीन्स टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री दैट इज अ थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी बाय टू दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री ओके सो वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ एग्जाम्पल इन दिस वे ओके नाउ वी विल टेक फोर्थ क्वेश्चन एग्जाम्पल फोर इज फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो सेम लाइक थीटा वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस x so first expression is tan 3x is equal to sin 45 degree into cos 45 degree plus sin 30 degree okay so here tan 3x is equal to now we have to put this values sin 45 degree is 1 by root 2 again cos 45 also 1 by root 2 plus sin 30 is a 1 by 2. So 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 2. That is a 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. That is equal to 1. So tan 3x is equal to 1. Now we have to find the value of 3x or, or x. So this one in terms of tan, how we write? This is the if we substitute value of 1 is tan 45 degree because we know that tan 45 is a 1 okay so if tan 3x is equal to tan 45 means 3x is equal to 45 degree okay and if we have to find x this 3 shift here so x is equal to 45 divided by 3 so 45 divided by 3 that is a 15 degree so x is equal to 15 degree okay so this is the value of x similarly we have to find second one this is second one cos x is equal to now put values cos 60 so value of cos 60 that is a 1 by 2 cos 30 root 3 by 2 plus sin 60 root 3 by 2 Into sine thirty one by two, so this is a root three by four plus root three by four. So root three by four plus root three by four that is a two root three by four. So if we cancel this, this is equal to root three by two. So cos x is equal to root three by two. So cos x is equal to for which angle? Value of cos theta is root three by two. That is a sixty degree. Okay, sorry, thirty degree. So cos thirty degree is equal to root three by two. So x is equal to thirty degree. Okay. So here value of x is thirty degree. Okay. Now we will take fifth example. Fifth example is if theta is an acute angle and tan theta plus cot theta is equal to two. Find the value of tan raised to seven theta plus cot raised to seven theta. Okay, means here tan theta raised to seven plus cot theta raised to seven. Okay, so first we will start. What is given? So here tan theta plus cot theta is equal to two. Okay, so tan theta plus cot theta we can write one upon tan theta is equal to two. If we make same denominator here, so tan square theta plus one upon tan theta is equal to two. This tan theta if we shift here, so we will get tan square theta plus one is equal to two tan theta. Now this two tan theta shift here, so we have tan square theta 
माइनस टू टेन थीटा प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज द एक्सपांशन ऑफ टेन थीटा माइनस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ टेन थीटा माइनस वन ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स टेन थीटा माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो इफ टेन थीटा माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन ना हाउ वी विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा सो हियर दिस वन वी हैव टू रिप्लेस बाय टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव नाउ वी हैव वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा दैट इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ टेन रेस टू सेवन थीटा प्लस कॉट रेस टू सेवन थीटा नाउ टेन रेस टू सेवन थीटा प्लस कॉट रेस टू सेवन थीटा टेन रेस टू सेवन थीटा वी कैन राइट टेन थीटा रेस टू सेवन प्लस कॉट थीटा रेस टू सेवन नाउ पुट वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दैट इज टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री रेस टू सेवन प्लस कॉट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री रेस टू सेवन टेन फोर्टी फाइव वैल्यू इज वन रेस टू सेवन कॉट फोर्टी फाइव सो वन रेस टू सेवन सो वन रेस टू सेवन दैट इज वन अगेन वन वन प्लस वन टू सो वैल्यू ऑफ टेन रेस टू सेवन थीटा प्लस कॉट रेस टू सेवन थीटा इज टू ओके नाउ वी विल टेक नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल ओके नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज फाइंड एन एक्यूट एंगल थीटा वेन कॉस थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा अपॉन कॉस थीटा प्लस साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस रूट थ्री अपॉन वन प्लस रूट थ्री ओके सो हियर वी हैव टू डिवाइड दिस न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर बाय कॉस थीटा ओके सो कॉस थीटा माइनस साइन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस थीटा अपॉन कॉस थीटा प्लस साइन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू दिस एज इट इज वन माइनस रूट थ्री अपॉन वन प्लस रूट थ्री ओके नाउ इफ वी सेपरेट दिस डिनोमिनेटर कॉस थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस थीटा सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस साइन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस थीटा दैट इज अ टेन थीटा और हियर आई एम राइटिंग दिस साइन थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय अगेन हियर कॉस थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा दैट इज अ वन प्लस साइन थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस रूट थ्री अपॉन वन प्लस रूट थ्री ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेप वन माइनस साइन थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा दैट इज अ टेन थीटा सो वन माइनस टेन थीटा डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस साइन थीटा बाय कॉस थीटा दैट इज टेन थीटा सो वन प्लस टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस रूट थ्री अपॉन वन प्लस रूट थ्री ओके नाउ इफ यू कंपेयर दिस दिस टू साइड्स सो हियर वन इज देर हियर वन माइनस साइन ओके सेम हियर वन प्लस वन प्लस सो टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू वी विल गेट रूट थ्री सो कंपेरिंग बोथ साइड्स टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री सो इफ टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री फॉर विच वैल्यू वी हैव टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री दैट इज अ थीटा मीन्स सिक्सटी डिग्री सो टेन सिक्सटी डिग्री इज अ रूट थ्री सो इफ टेन थीटा इज इक्वल टू टेन सिक्सटी थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके सो हियर वी हैव टू फाइंड थीटा सो नाउ वी हैव थीटा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी डिग्री ओके सो आफ्टर दैट वी विल टेक एग्जाम्पल नंबर सेवन नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज इफ साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू वन एंड कॉस ऑफ ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय टू एंड दिस ए प्लस बी इज एंगल ग्रेटर दैन जीरो डिग्री एंड लेस देन और इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्री एंड वॉट इज गिवन ए ग्रेटर दैन बी देन वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी ओके सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वॉट इज गिवन ओके सो हियर साइन ऑफ ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू वन 
okay so if sin of a plus b is equal to 1 for which angle sin value is a 1 that is a 90 degree so sin 90 degree is equal to sin of a plus b so if sin of a plus b is equal to sin 90 degree a plus b value is a 90 degree okay similarly so this is equation one we have similarly next one is given cos of a plus b oh sorry a minus b is equal to root 3 by 2 so cos of a minus b is equal to root 3 by 2 again for which value of cos that is a root 3 by 2 so that value is a 30 degree so cos 30 degrees root 3 by 2 so cos of a minus b is equal to cos 30 degree means a minus b is equal to 30 degree so this is equation second now if we have to find value of a and b we have to solve this two equation so if we add this two equation so adding 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 so a minus b or a plus b plus a minus b is equal to 90 plus 30 degree so 2a this b will get cancelled is equal to 120 degree so a is equal to 60 degree now if a is equal to 60 degree if we put this value is in equation 1 so from 1 60 degree plus b is equal to 90 degree so b is equal to 90 degree minus 60 degree that is a 30 degree okay so value of b is 30 degree okay now we will take next one uh, next example is abc is at a right triangle right angle at c if angle a is 30 degree and ab is equal to 40 units find the remaining two sides and angle b of triangle abc okay so here what is given first abc is a right triangle right angle at c okay so suppose this is a and this is b okay angle a is given 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree ab is 40 units so this is 40 units now we have to find bc and ac and angle b okay so angle b we can find by angle sum property of triangle okay so here in triangle abc angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree okay angle a is 30 degree angle b plus angle c is 90 degree is equal to 180 degree okay so angle b plus 90 degree plus 30 degree so this is 120 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle b is equal to 180 degree minus 120 that is 60 degree okay so now this angle b is 60 degree now we have to find length of side bc and length of side ac so here we have to use trigonometric ratios okay so if i am considering sine of angle a so we will get side bc okay so sine of angle a is equal to now sine definition of sine is opposite side upon hypotenuse so bc divided by ab okay now sine angle a is 30 degree so sine 30 degree is equal to bc divided by ab is 40 okay now sine 30 is value we know that this value is a 1 by 2 so sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to bc by 40 so bc is equal to if we shift this 40 here so 40 divided by 2 that is equal to 20 so bc is equal to 20 units okay now we have to find ac okay so either you can use sine of angle b okay so we will get ac divided by ab or use cos of angle a okay so you can use any one ratio so cos of 
angle A is equal to that is a cost definition is adjacent side upon hypotenuse so AC divided by AB so cos 30 is equal to AC divided by AB is 40 cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 is equal to AC divided by 40 so if we shift this 40 here we will have AC is equal to 40 root 3 divided by 2 that is a AC is equal to 20 root 3 units okay so this is the length of two sides that is a 20 units and 20 root 3 units and angle B is a 60 degree okay now we will take next example okay next example is in a rectangle ABCD AB is 20 centimeter angle B AC is equal to 60 degree and we have to find side BC okay so ABCD is a rectangle angle B AC is equal to 60 degree okay now we know that in rectangle all angles are right angles so angle B is a right angle so angle sum property we can find angle C okay but here no need to find angle C we only use here tan 60 degree okay because tan theta we know that definition is opposite side by adjacent side so if we take tan of angle a that is equal to bc divided by ab okay so here only we have to take tan of angle a is equal to bc divided by ab so tan 60 degree is equal to bc divided by ab is 20 now tan 60 value is root 3 so root 3 is equal to bc divided by 20 therefore bc is equal to 20 root 3 centimeter okay here unit is given centimeter so bc is equal to 20 root 3 centimeter okay so here we are using tan ratio okay because hypotenuse is not given only adjacent side is given so if you have to find opposite side use tan or you can use cot ratio also okay so here i am using tan of angle a okay now we will take next example next example is a rhombus of side 20 centimeter has two angles of 60 degree each find the length of the diagonals okay so here what is given a rhombus here abcd is a rhombus of side 20 centimeter has two angles of 60 degree now two angles means opposite angles are given angle a and angle c or angle b and angle d okay so any two angles are 60 degree okay so if i am taking this angle a that is angle b a d is equal to angle b c d is equal to 60 degree so these two angles are given 60 degree and what is given side 20 centimeter okay so we know that rhombus having all sides are equal so all sides are 20 centimeter so we have to find the length of the diagonals ac and bd okay now here angle bad and bcd is equal to 60 degree so we know that properties of diagonals of rhombus okay so these diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other and which bisects angle also okay so if suppose this angle bad is 60 degree so angle bao this angle is a 30 degree okay then if angle bad is a 60 degree this angle is a 120 degree because sides are parallel each other okay so this angle is a supplementary angle so if total angle is 120 degree abo angle is a 60 degree and this angle is a 90 degree because diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other okay so first we have to write this property diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other and bisects 
opposite angles okay so here angle bao is equal to half of angle bad that is equal to half of 60 degree so it is equal to 30 degree so angle bao is equal to 30 degree similarly angle abc this angle is 120 degree okay because angle dab and angle abc these two are complement uh, sorry supplementary angles so if this angle a is 60 degree this angle b is 120 degree so if angle abc is 120 degree angle abo is equal to half of angle abc so that is half of 120 degree so it is equal to 60 degree so angle abo is equal to 60 degree now in this triangle in triangle aob we can use trigonometric ratios and we can find here side oa and side ob okay so here i am drawing this triangle separately suppose this triangle is like this way a o b okay a b is here 20 centimeter okay now we have to find o a and o b okay angle a here 30 degree and this angle b is a 60 degree okay now we have to use trigonometric ratios so here if we use sine of angle a so sine of angle a is angle a is here so opposite side of this angle that is ob divided by hypotenuse is ab so ob divided by ab so sine of angle a is 30 degree so sine 30 degree is equal to ob divided by ab is 20 okay so sine 30 we know that value 1 by 2 so ob divided by 20 is equal to ob is equal to 20 divided by 2 that is a 10 centimeter so ob is equal to 10 centimeter and if we have to find oa so oa how we will get oa so if we use cos 30 or you can use here sin 60 also okay so here i am using cos 30 cos 30 is equal to adjacent side or first i'm writing cos of angle a so cos of angle a oa is the adjacent side to angle a so cos of angle a is oa divided by ab so cos 30 degree is equal to oa divided by 20 cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 is equal to oa divided by 20 so oa is equal to 20 root 3 divided by 2 so oa is equal to if you cancel this 10 root 3 centimeter okay now we have to find the diagonal so here we will get ob is equal to 10 centimeter oa is equal to 10 root 3 centimeter so if you have to find diagonal ac and bd so ac ac is equal to ac is two times oa okay because diagonals of rhombus are perpendicular bisector of each other so ac is equal to 2 oa that is 2 into 10 root 3 okay oa is 10 root 3 so ac is equal to 20 root 3 centimeter and ab oh sorry bd bd is equal to 2 times ob okay so bd is equal to 2 into ob so 2 into 10 that is a 20 centimeter so bd is equal to 20 centimeter so diagonals of rhombus are one diagonal is 20 root 3 centimeter and another one is 20 centimeter okay now we will take next example next example is the altitude ad of a triangle abc in which angle a obtuse 
and AD is equal to 10 centimeter. BD is equal to 10. If BD is 10 and CD is 10 root 3 centimeter, determine angle A. Okay. So what is given? ABC is a triangle where angle A is obtuse and AD is a altitude of triangle ABC. Here given AD is 10 centimeter, BD is 10 centimeter, and CD is equal to 10 root 3 centimeter. Okay. So we have to determine angle A. Okay. So first we have to find value of angle B and angle C by using trigonometric ratio. So if in triangle ABD if we use tan of angle B so tan of angle B in triangle ABD this triangle if we use tan of angle B tan definition is opposite side by adjacent side so AD divided by BD so tan of angle B is equal to AD is 10 divided by BD is 10 so tan of angle B is 1 so for which value tan is 1 that is a 45 degree so tan 45 degrees 1 so if we replace this one by tan 45 degree so tan of angle B is equal to tan 45 degree means angle B is equal to 45 degree okay similarly we have to find angle C so in triangle ADC or ACD again if we use tan of angle C that is equal to here opposite side of angle C is AD divided by adjacent side so AD divided by CD so tan of angle C is equal to AD is 10 divided by CD is 10 root 3 so tan of angle C is equal to 1 by root 3 okay so here tan of angle C is equal to 1 by root 3 we will get from tan 30 degree okay so tan 30 degree is equal to 1 by root 3 so if tan of angle C is equal to tan 30 degree means angle C is equal to 30 degree okay so now we have angle B is equal to 45 degree angle C is equal to 30 degree so by using angle sum property we can find angle A so in triangle ABC angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree so angle A plus angle B is 45 degree plus angle C is 30 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle A plus 75 degree is equal to 180 degree so angle A is equal to 180 minus 75 that is a 105 so angle A is equal to 105 degree okay so now we will take next example example is an equilateral triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 6 centimeter find its side okay so this is a circle and equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle so ABC is an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle center of circle is O so we have to find the side of an equilateral triangle okay so here if we join this OB and OB OC and OA then these are radius of an of circle okay so OB and OC are equal okay so first we have to write triangle ABC is an equilateral equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle okay 
then this OB and OC are equal. Okay. So if we draw OD perpendicular on BC. Okay. So OD perpendicular on BC. Then D is a midpoint of BC. Okay. Because we know that if we draw perpendicular from center of circle to a chord, because BC is a chord, then this perpendicular bisect the chord. So D is a midpoint of BC. Then here write D is midpoint of BC. Okay. And this OB and OC are angle bisectors of angle B and angle C. Okay. And OB and OC are angle bisectors of angle B and angle C. Okay. Now, if this angle is 60 degree, okay, angle B is 60 degree because ABC is an equilateral triangle. So, angle OBD is equal to 30 degree. Okay. So, here first we have to write this angle OBD is equal to half of angle B that is a half of 60 degree so is equal to 30 degree so angle OBD is equal to 30 degree okay now we have to use trigonometric ratio in triangle ODB so we can get side BD okay so in triangle ODB if we use here now we know that this OB that is a radius of circle is 6 centimeter so if we use cos 30 degree so we can get adjacent side BD okay so cos of angle OBD so cos of angle OB, OBD we can write that is a BD adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so BD divided by OB so cos 30 degree is equal to BD divided by OB is 6. So it is a 6 into cos 30 degree is equal to BD. So BD is equal to 6 into cos 30 value is a root 3 by 2. So BD is equal to 2 3 is a 6 that is a 3 root 3 centimeter. Okay. And we know that this BC is a 2 times BD okay because OD is perpendicular and BC is chord so perpendicular bisect the chord means BD and DC are equal so we can write BC is equal to 2 times BD that is a 2 into 3 root 3 so 6 root 3 so BC is equal to 6 root 3 centimeter okay so side of an equilateral triangle is a 6 root 3 centimeter okay now we will take next example. Next example is if each of alpha, beta and gamma is a positive acute angle such that sin of alpha plus beta minus gamma is equal to 1 by 2, cos of beta plus gamma minus alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and tan of gamma plus alpha minus beta is equal to 1. So we have to find the values of alpha, beta and gamma. Okay. So first what is given sin of alpha plus beta minus gamma is equal to 1 by 2 so for which angle of sine we will get value is 1 by 2 that is a 30 degree because sine 30 is equal to 1 by 2 so this 1 by 2 we have to replace by sine 30 degree okay so sine of alpha plus beta minus gamma is equal to sine 30 degree so therefore we will get alpha plus beta minus gamma is equal to 30 degree so this is equation 1 similarly second is given cos of beta plus gamma minus alpha is equal to 1 by 2 so we know that cos 60 is 1 by 2 so instead of this 1 by 2 put cos 60 so cos of beta plus gamma minus alpha is equal to cos 60 degree so we will get second equation is beta plus gamma minus alpha is equal to 60 degree this is equation second and equation third is we will get from this so tan of gamma plus alpha minus beta is equal to 1 given so tan of gamma plus alpha 
माइनस बीटा इज इक्वल टू वन वी हैव टू रिप्लेस बाय टेन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके सो गैमा प्लस अल्फा माइनस बीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज इक्वेशन थ्री सो नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस वन टू एंड थ्री इक्वेशन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ अल्फा बीटा एंड गैमा ओके नाउ सी हियर हियर इफ वी एड फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन वी विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ गैमा ओके बिकॉज हियर प्लस अल्फा एंड हियर माइनस अल्फा इज देयर हियर माइनस गैमा एंड प्लस गैमा इज देयर सो वी विल गेट वैल्यू ऑफ बीटा सो एडिंग वन एंड टू वी गेट एडिंग वन एंड टू वी गेट टू बीटा इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री बिकॉज हियर इफ वी एड दिस टू अल्फा माइनस अल्फा विल गेट कैंसल माइनस गैमा एंड प्लस गैमा विल गेट कैंसल ओनली बीटा प्लस बीटा दैट इज टू बीटा एंड थर्टी डिग्री प्लस सिक्सटी डिग्री इज नाइंटी डिग्री सो हियर वी हैव बीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इफ वी एड दिस टू सो हियर अल्फा माइनस अल्फा कैंसल beta minus beta will get cancelled so we will get value of gamma so next one is adding 2 and 3 so we will get 2 gamma is equal to 60 plus 45 that is a 105 degree okay so 2 gamma is equal to 105 degree okay Because here, okay. So 2 gamma is equal to 105. So gamma is equal to 105 divided by 2. That is a 2 phi is a 10. 2 to the 4. So 52 and half degree, or you can write 52.5 degree. So gamma is equal to 52 and half degree. Okay. And we have to find now alpha. So put these two values, beta and gamma. in any one equation so if we put this values in equation 1 so from 1 alpha plus beta minus gamma is equal to 30 degree so beta is 45 degree minus gamma is 52 and half degree is equal to 30 degree okay degree so alpha is equal to If we shift this side, so 30 degree minus 45 degree plus 52 and half degree. Okay, so 30 degree minus 45 degree that is minus 15 degree plus 52 and half degree. Okay, so alpha is equal to 37 and half degree. So alpha is equal to 37 and half degree. Okay. So this is the value of alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay, alpha is 37 and half degree, beta is 45 degree, and gamma is 52 and half degree. Okay.